One of the coolest things of all is Photoshop allows us to create our own web photo galleries. That's right, folks. We can create our own custom galleries that look just like this. And there's really not a whole lot of work on our part. All we need to do is tell Photoshop which folders on our hard drive contains the photos that we would like to use for the web photo gallery and also a destination folder. So Photoshop has a place where it, needs, where it can store all the internet files needed for the web photo gallery. It creates all the files for us. There's really not a whole lot we need to do. Let me show you how this all works. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and load up Photoshop right now. And the first thing, come right up here to File and down here to Automate and then select the Web Photo Gallery right here. Now you'll need to have your photos ready uh, that you would like to use for the Web Photo Gallery and also a destination folder as well, okay, before you do this. But I'm just going to show you really quickly, uh, you know, how this whole thing works here. You see where it says Styles? Well, if you click on this little menu right here, we have a bunch of different Web Photo Gallery styles to choose from. Now, in each new version of Photoshop, they keep adding more newer and newer styles that we can choose from, which is really, really cool. But if you select one of the styles from this menu here, if you look over here, a little thumbnail appears and kind of gives you an example on what that style looks like. So you can see centered frame one basic. This is, you know, just kind of a general idea on what that gallery looks like. And if you select another one, the thumbnail will change. It'll just show you the example for that style. So anyways, one of the coolest things though is that in Photoshop CS, Adobe has added actually two Flash templates that we can choose from right down here. Flash Gallery 1 and Flash Gallery 2. That's actually the gallery that I was showing you just here just a minute ago because this is really cool. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already know what Flash is. You know, you can really do some cool animation stuff with it and everything. But for those of you that don't know how to use Flash, how would you like it if Photoshop just creates all the files for you needed for Flash? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? Well, <laughs> your dreams have came true. So we can actually create a little really cool flash gallery that looks just like this automatically with just like a few clicks. <laughs> so anyways, let's go back to Photoshop real quick. And if you see right here where it says email, well, let's say that you maybe, uh, you know, maybe you're a photographer and you want to send or upload these gallery images to your website and maybe send it to a client or, you know, potential client uh, or prospect, uh, you know, that you'd like to uh, show your images off to. Well, you can actually place your email on the pages of the gallery. So if they like some of the photos and they want to contact you, then all you have to do is just type in your email address right here in this place and it'll actually show up in the gallery. Gallery. So someone can just click, you know, click on your name or click on the link, and it'll, you know, open up your email program, and and they can send you an email regarding, you know, the photos that you have in your gallery. So, anyways, down here where it says source images, we can choose, uh, you know, to use, you know, a folder, or we can actually choose to use the selected images in the Adobe Bridge. So if we have images selected in the Adobe Bridge, it'll actually just grab the photos from there. But just for real basic right now, I'm just going to select folder and then choose or click on the choose button right here and browse to the folder on my hard drive that contains the photos that we're going to use for the gallery. So for in other words, I'll use, I'll click on this photo or this folder right here that says photos for gallery. I'll go ahead and click on that and just uh, click on choose. And then also if you have folders inside a folder, and those folders also have photos. Well, we can actually tell Photoshop to include all the subfolders as well. A really cool option right there. Also, the destination button. Check this out. We need to tell Photoshop where it needs to store all the web or the internet files that are needed to create this web photo gallery. So we need to go ahead and you know create a folder on your hard drive. Uh, maybe call it web gallery and all you have to do when you're all done is just upload this folder right here to your website and everything works and it's pretty awesome so I'll just go ahead and select this web gallery folder right here and click on choose now down here we have options okay so this is I mean if you click on the menu right here you have a whole bunch of different options to choose from here let's go ahead and start on general and the general options are basically you know we tell Photoshop or, or you know which file extension that we want to use for the web photo galleries you know if you want to use just HTM or if we want to use the full dot HTML uh, file extension right here we can do that and if we want to preserve all the metadata inside the images we can also you know check these boxes right here and include those let's go ahead and click on this right here and select banner and and we can actually give our gallery 
a name. So if you want to put, uh, you know, my my photo gallery or you know Joe Smith's photography or something like that in there, then you can actually do that, and that will show up on all the pages of your web photo gallery. And the name of the photographer would go right here. Any contact information, such as a phone number or something like that, that you would like to use for people to contact you, just put it in the contact info area right there. Now, down here where it says large images, this is all the dimensions for all the large images. In other words, when somebody clicks on a thumbnail, it'll go to the larger image. Well, that, that's, what, that's the info uh, for that right here. So you can you know, tell Photoshop to resize the images. And you probably want to do that because some of the images that off your digital camera are fairly large. And so you want to go ahead and just tell Photoshop to resize those images to a custom size. And so if you type in, let's say, whatever it is, 300 pixels or 500 pixels right here, Photoshop's not going to go beyond the, the number here that you put in for the pixels Okay, so you can also uh, tell Photoshop to constrain the proportions as well. And right here where it says JPEG quality, we can actually set the JPEG quality. So how much compression you want to use for the photos. In other words, if you want to get the, you know, get the file size down really low, uh, although when you do that, then it, sometimes it will degrade the quality in the image. But to get the file size down smaller, then you would want to select you know, down here low or medium. Uh, but to, to maintain some pretty good decent quality, quality in the image and have a pretty decent file size and I would probably either go high or maximum or you can just you know move the slider here and do more of like a custom value instead we also have you know a border size you can also include the title and the copyright for your photos and all that stuff you know it's pretty self-explanatory and the thumbnails that appear in your gallery uh, those are you know like for instance let me go ahead and just back this up here you see the little thumbnails down here at the very bottom of the screen. I'm kind of going off the screen here because it's the, 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 my windows. It's a lot, lot larger window for this particular video. But you can the thumbnails that people click on. You see that? That's what that means down here uh, for the thumbnails. You can actually s custom set the size of those thumbnails right there, and custom colors. In other words, like the background of the actual. Um, the web photo gallery you can set those from here and a little bit of security if you wanted to put it in some like you know copyright notice text or whatever you can actually set the font size in the photo gallery so it's pretty simple to do but when you have all this folks and you're ready to go all you have to do you know make sure you have the gallery selected that you would like to use I'm gonna select the flash gallery right here because that looks really cool and then so after I have all this and I've chosen the folder that contains the photos that I would like to use and I've selected the destination folder for my web photo gallery when I have this all set to go I'll just come up here and click OK and Photoshop will open up those images resize them you know put them all in the folder for you and complete and create the web photo gallery There we go. And you can see at the very end, after it creates the web photo gallery, it actually opens up the web photo gallery in the internet browser. So you can actually just go ahead and quickly just view the gallery right away. Is, is that cool or what? So here's the gallery made right here. And I'll go ahead and just resize this down. But sometimes, you know, if it's, you know, if your large images are a little bit too large, and sometimes uh, you may need a little more room. So if I, you know, in other words, you can't see the thumbnails here. But the coolest thing, though, in some of the flash styles, the flash galleries, we actually have a little uh, little interface here that we can use to go fast, you know, go to the, go to the next photo or go back. Or we can actually play by clicking on the little play button right there. It'll actually uh, treat it more as like a slideshow. You see, it'll just automatically boom, and it'll just go to the next image, and you can just sit back and watch it or whatever. So that's how we create web photo galleries in Photoshop. Now this will work anything from Photoshop seven and up has this. So if you got version seven or higher, dude, you're good to go. We'll see you guys later.